Hey team, this is Luke with Crusader Machining and welcome back for another great episode. Today's episode, we are going to be talking about a highly contentious topic. RPM versus SFM. RPM being rotations per minute and SFM being surface footage per minute. What do they mean and what to use when at what time? That's what we're going to dive in. Let's get started. So in the world of programming CNC lathes, we deal in either G97 or G96. Or, and that's for a fan of control. If you're on Mazak or OSP, that may, may or may not be something else. Um, so on a fan of control, and I believe OSP is, OSP is the same, G96 or G97. I was thinking G94, G95 versus G98 and G99, but G96, G97. G96 is calling out your SFM, telling your tool we're going to run this tool at this surface footage per minute, or G97 saying we're going to run our spindle at this set RPM. RPM means rotations per minute, SFM means surface footage per minute. When we are machining, when you're not so much operation or setup, but it's the programming side, or if you're a manual, uh, manual machining on a manual lathe or a manual mill, we need to tell our tool or our spindle how fast we want to run. If you run your tool too fast, you burn it up. Friction causes heat. Heat causes your tool to burn up technical term now if you run your server now on the other side of that coin if you run your surface footage or rpm too low you're going to rub versus cut it will not be optimum on the tool to run too fast or too slow so what we use is g96 or g97 to tell our program to run at a certain speed spindle speed as the manufacturer recommends for that material grade. I want to show you two examples of G96 or SFM in action. So I'm going to show a visual representation of SFM. I'm going to call it my tool T0909 and the block insert is my turning tool. Now I'm going to call up G96S250M03. That is saying I want to command 250 surface feet with spindle direction M03 or top coming. And I want you to look at something here. Now I'm going to go to handle jog. I'm going to move down. Now I'm at my position page at 8.306 inches. My spindle speed is 114. <clears throat> I'm going to move down an X and watch my spindle speed increase as my X decreases. This is SFM. Until you max out your spindle or hit your commanded G50. Now let's watch it in the machine. So watch the spindle. I'm moving up, so my spindle is slowing down. That's a visual representation of what happens when you command G96. And I want to talk further about what G96 is, what constant surface speed or surface footage per minute is. When I was just a young squirt in the industry, I was always told if I was having problems on a machine, tools not lasting, people would ask me, primarily my old man would say, what's your surface footage? And I'm like, well, shucks, I have no idea. I'm at 500 RPM. The people that trained me would always say, what's your surface footage? Surface footage per minute means how many feet of material is passing by your tool at the cutting edge when it's at a certain diameter. I didn't understand this for the longest time. 
But what helped me is the demonstration I'm about to show. Imagine if you had a, 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 a block of steel or a round diameter of steel that was three feet in diameter and you were, wanted to turn it. You told, tell it a certain speed to run. If you're at three feet diameter, your cutting edge, that speed better be different than if you were at X zero. That is surface footage. How many feet are passing by the tool in a minute? It's like a roll of tape. Say I have a roll of tape, <clears throat> excuse me. If I'm removing this roll of tape at the same rate, if I'm removing it at the same rate, this RPM on the outside here is gonna move at whatever RPM that might be. Now, as I keep removing and the tape gets smaller, by the time I get to the middle, this is gonna be moving much faster, although it's the same rate of removal, the same SFM. It's about the circumference of the part. Imagine my roll of tape is 100 feet diameter and I'm removing it at a constant rate. That thing is gonna be, go, it's gonna be moving so slow. But the more the tape, the smaller the tape roll gets, when I'm removing it at the same rate, it's gonna move faster. That's what we just saw when we were on the machine here. That is SFM in practice. How many feet of material are passing by that tool like you were gonna be removing on a roll of tape at the same rate? That rate is your SFM. Tools, drills, turning tools, cutoffs, threaders, based on stainless aluminum plastic, they're all given a certain SFM that's recommended by the manufacturer uh, or the distributor sometimes of that tool. How we get that into the control is up to us. Say for instance, you're doing a one inch 18 or a one inch eight thread, they might say 250 SFM. How do you determine that? There's a couple formulas I'm gonna put up right now that will show you. Use these formulas to go from RPM to SFM or SFM to RPM. So here to calculate your SFM, you're gonna take your RPM times the diameter of your workpiece or your tool and divide it by 3.82. 3.82 is your constant. Now, to calculate your RPM from a surface footage, you're going to take your 3.82 times that recommended SFM and divide it by the diameter of your workpiece or your tool. Pause that, screenshot it, save it in your phone. Those formulas have been in my repertoire for a long time. The reason you're gonna need them is on newer machines, you can program G96, S500, whatever it might be. But that's not always gonna help. The reason that's not gonna help is because when you're threading, ID thread or OD thread, you do not want to adjust for SFM. You wanna set a G97 spindle speed command. Because as you're threading and you're developing that thread either moving higher or lower in X, you don't want that RPM changing. When you're doing a G76, G92, G32, you need that RPM to stay constant or your thread won't come out right. Trust me, I know. Same thing, drilling. Say you got a one inch drill that you're gonna be cutting in aluminum and they're calling out 650 SFM. But we all know we drill at X0. If you were to call out G96, S650, M03, your drill's gonna come down to X0, it's gonna max out your spindle because it's trying to get down to that smallest diameter. So you use that formula to calculate whatever diameter your drill is, in this case, one inch, you're gonna add that into the diameter section. You're gonna complete the rest of the formula to go from recommended SFM to whatever, that's gonna to translate to your RPM, G97. That's how it works to go from G96, or I'm sorry, to go from your recommended surface footage to your RPM that's recommended by the manufacturer for that particular tool. 
One last thing I want to cover. When you're programming with G96, constant SFM, it's very important. Here's the lights going off. Ding, ding, ding. It's very important to use a G50. If you call out G97 S1000, your spindle's not going to exceed that unless you have a manual override. As long as you don't override it manually, it will not exceed that G97. But if you call a G96 S550 and in your program you accidentally wrap it down to X0, your, RP, your part or your machine is going to do one of two things. It's going to max out that spindle. Maybe five, ours are 5,000 for the most part. Some of the Swiss are 8,000, but it's going to max out that spindle or it's going to cap at what we call your G50, G50. You always want to have a G50 before you engage that G96 for your safety, the safety of those around you, and also the safety of the machine. Ding, ding, ding. Use G50 when you're commanding G96. Do not use G96 when you're threading or drilling. Also, there are times that G97 will work and actually work better than G96. There's times that I have chatter. I, no matter what surface footage I call it out, it doesn't work. But when I put in a G97, miraculously the chatter goes away. Against all reason and logic, it works. So that's the video for today. I wanted to give a quick breakdown of G96, G97, or SFM, RPM, what they mean, what, what they mean, how they work, and when you would use them and when you wouldn't. I hope this was helpful to some people out there. I got a couple comments in DMs asking me to explain it. If this explained it thoroughly, there you go. If not, leave a comment. Let me know if there's something else you want me to cover. I got a lot of people that have been asking for ideas on videos. I'm trying to take down notes to cover as much as I can. If there's an idea that you have, leave a comment. I'm going to do my best. I got a big schedule of videos that I'm planning to make over the next 13 years. I will get it in 100%. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, share the video. Again, this is Luke with Crusader Machining. Find me on TikTok, Instagram, of course here on YouTube. And I recently have a Facebook. Find me over there. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.